and certainly the higher temperatures appear to be diminishing the amount of snowpack. Managing what's left of our water supply, a challenge the city of Phoenix hopes you will pay for. But then we really need to be able to pump that water north. And a lot of the infrastructure that we're talking about is um, being built to do exactly that. The city needs money to replace old equipment citywide and build new pumps and valves to get water to the northern reaches of the valley. Part of the region plagued with drying wells, the city side of things supplied by the Colorado River with sinking water levels. City officials asking for a 6% increase for next year and another 6% in 2020. The city of Phoenix already has some of the lowest water rates compared to other big cities across the country. And it manages its storage by charging more in the summer, encouraging people to conserve. But are residents willing to pay more money on their water bill to keep the water flowing for years to come? I think we already are with our taxes and what we pay. I think we already do contribute to that. Higher water bills, not a popular idea, even if at first it's less than three bucks extra each month. If we're going to get hike after hike after hike and then nothing happens, you know, we don't see any improvement in the pipes or the infrastructure. We might have a problem with that. In Phoenix, Carissa Planelp for Arizona's family.